those are a nice little kind of a book cabinet, I guess. Little, little ducks and stuff in there. And books and cars. <laughs> so the other day when I was working on a video for Mother's Day, I had come down to one of my favorite uh, spirit hot spots. And I had sat there and there's a special spot that you sit at and you ask the spirits, you know, sacredly or quietly, uh, give you a vision. And I had asked the spirits to give me a vision about what possibly has happened to Sebastian Rogers. And if you look straight ahead in the distance there, you can see a, uh, a lot of bushes and trees all mixed together there. And it come to me. I saw I saw exactly what the spirits were trying to tell me and show me because they never disappoint. And if you look at this for just a moment, as I did, I saw an angel saying goodbye and lifting what looked like possibly could be Sebastian Rogers up to the heavens. Yep, the spirits, they never disappoint me. It's a beautiful day today. Look at here. Now this park, this is uh look at them squirrels there. Look at them squirrels. I just came across now. <laughs> They're just having a good old time, aren't they? And got these benches out here. It's a suicide prevention in memory of Larry Cox. I've been out here I don't know how many times and every time I come out here I just feel so excited. I feel kind of a, uh, it's just a really, I don't know, it's kind of a peaceful, peaceful feeling, <laughs> you know. But uh, this is Springbrook Park and let me get over to the sign here I'll show you where we're, let me make sure you have to cross the street here. Make sure we got nobody coming. Kind of, you can screenshot that or pause it and read that. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful area here. The thing about this trail here, this um, the city put this in, you know, years ago, um, this pathway. But um, it honestly, it used to be just a little old trail, a little dirt trail out through here. many 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 years ago and um, this area that we're going to um, it is um, it's what I call it definitely is a, a spirit hot spot you'll I believe you'll get to see a vision you'll get to see uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there and a little squirrel are you looking he's a looking Trying to figure out what I'm doing. That's what he's trying to do. And look at here. Just a nice little area to set there. Look here. Yeah. Very pretty. Look at here. Just winds around.
So I may have just had an encounter with a, uh, a spirit. Now I'm at the highway up here, and it could have been it could have been a what to call the uh, what skinwalker. You know where uh, a spirit will take the shape of a human. But there was a lady that passed me. I was down this way, and I didn't get—I didn't have the camera going. I wish now I had it. And I have looked for the lady. I said hello to her, and she didn't say much. She didn't say nothing really. Just like kind of, huh? Something like that. It wasn't even really a hi. It was like, huh? Like she acknowledged me. But she seemed like she was very sad though, a very sad person. And I saw her, she was walking up the trail. I was down here, but she came up the trail. I watched her go up the trail and then I turned around and she is, and then I turned around and looked at the little bridge that was behind me and turned back and she's gone. And she's not in them woods. She did not go to this house. She didn't have time to do that. She was just, she was gone. And that right there is when you know that you've got uh, something mysterious going on. Now, could she have uh, maybe went to, um, through the woods maybe, but and I didn't see nothing. I didn't see her go through the woods. I know there's houses on the other area right there. But I looked. As I was coming up, I didn't see her. I didn't see her to the left. I didn't see her to the right. I didn't see her nowhere. And I'm just wondering what the heck was that? What the heck? I mean, who was she? And what was it? Was it a message maybe? You know, sometimes, folks, you'll get a message, and you'll get a, um, you know, sometimes there'll be a form of a person, and they will just appear, and especially, I mean, you can be of a bunch of people, and they'll just stand out, or you can just be by yourself like I am. There's nobody, there's nobody on this trail right now. I mean, there's been a few, and the few that I've seen... I mean, I've seen them walk on up the trail and seen them circle around, but this woman, it was a lady, it was an older lady, um, probably in her 40s, I'd say, and she, uh, she had glasses on, but she looked at me, and uh, she didn't say nothing, though, really, but she is nowhere to be found. I mean, I looked, I looked all through the the woods over there and she is nowhere to be found over here show you what i was talking about the trail see i know you can't really tell but there's a trail see the trail down through there I, hopefully you can see it um and all up through here is where she was at i mean walked all the way up and i was about right in, in down in that area right over there and she walked up and I turned around and turned back and she was gone. There was no, there was no lady nowhere. I mean nowhere. And you know, look at that tree. That tree is telling us something in it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's what I like about these, uh, these walks, folks. Especially when you're talking about, you know, spirits and all. You can really, you can come across some interesting things. Now, sometimes you can come across some negative spirits. And when you do, that just, uh, you have to be very careful and just avoid them. You don't want to, you don't want to be caught up in any uh, negative spirit. Uh, you want to make sure you stay focused. If you feel an energy, and you know, sometimes, you know, You'll just, all of a sudden, everything will be fine and something will come across you that just ain't right, or don't feel right, so, yeah. Now, one thing about these trails, this trail right here that I'm on, it circles, you know, and it, 
Now, there is a couple paths that will veer off, but I'm definitely getting an eerie feeling about that because, um, and a lot of times I've been told that if you come across, you know, a skinwalker like that, um, and they're called other names too, I'm just calling it a skinwalker, you know, a ghost walker, you know, that, uh, person or a, or a um, you know some sort of a maybe a spirit that actually will take the side of a human and make you think it is a human but it's actually it's not it's just it's just a spirit there I mean I've heard that there's a reason that you'll see one so and sometimes it's a good reason and sometimes it's a bad reason hmm. yeah I've had that to happen to me before um, where you see a person and they just disappear. You know, you look away for just a moment and they just disappear. They're gone. They ain't nowhere to be found. And it is kind of spooky to some people. And I have to admit that that definitely was spooky because I don't know if that was like a, because the lady, oh man, I wished I'd a, I wished I'd a videoed her. I keep looking back. Somebody working on the car there. But, uh, I don't know. She wasn't happy, though. She didn't smile. Uh, and, you know, a lot of times uh, people don't realize this, that the wildlife, when you come, there's another squirrel. I've seen a lot of squirrels. A lot of squirrels. The wildlife, the wildlife will tell you They'll talk to you, and not like, you know, like, hi, how you doing, George? You know, not like that. They will, uh, they'll kind of be around in your presence, and sometimes you can, uh, you can get a, uh, you can get a sense or a reading from your animals around you, you know, the birds, the squirrels, um, wildlife snakes even you know if you see a snake a serpent that's that's uh it's kind of a negative sign that you want to be cautious of um and i know there's a lot of people that love snakes and handle snakes but uh -uh, i don't want to have nothing to do with no snake i see a snake i'm going the other way but um and another thing too if you hear dogs barking like you know start just randomly barking uh, especially if there's nothing around them, you know, if you have your dogs or something, or, you know, and they're just barking for no reason. I've heard that that is a, that's a sign also that, uh, that they could see, because dogs and cats, they see, uh, they see things more than we do. They see uh, visions more than we do. I've always been told that, so there's a lady with a dog, but it ain't the lady I was looking at and she didn't have no dog, so. Uh, very interesting. There's another squirrel there. Look at that. I have seen so many squirrels today on this trail. There's a couple of squirrels actually. That's not the lady. That's not the lady at all. There's Bubbling Creek. Um, and like I said, there's people that walk these trails every day and it's it is a very peaceful peaceful walk uh people love to bring their dogs out and walk their dogs um and i mean you can see why and there's it's today is sunday and it's uh it's very peaceful this is at the end of may uh matter of fact it's mother's day happy mother's day to all the beautiful moms and moms to be but uh, yeah, we're getting close to the fountain here. This is our this is our spot. Yeah, there's a nice little waterfall there. Very peaceful. Yep. Okay, so let's get through here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I see. 
second he's made a kind of a path. You have to watch it though. Eh? Sometimes there's snakes up here. So oh, let me get up in here. Now, here we are. <laughs> Back on dry ground. Kind of. Okay, so here we go. Look at this fountain here, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This is a... Um, this was built by the um, the city of Alcoa and uh, just beautiful, peaceful, very peaceful. But I'm going to show you something here in just a moment here. Let me show you. This is what, this is definitely the spirit um, hotspot. This is one of my favorites and the reason I know that it is it's because when you come out here, there's, you know, a, a really beautiful energy that you'll feel. There's a peacefulness. That old moss and stuff. And it's something. Yep. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. And if you'll look right straight ahead there that is our spot right there yep but this fountain is is worth just coming out here and seeing the fountain and when I go to these spirit hot spots um, there is um, there's always a presence of just peacefulness. Always, it always seems like I get a very peaceful feeling when I'm here. But I wanted to share this with you. And if you do come out here, I believe you'll really enjoy it because it's um, it's just quite peaceful. And like I said, the um, the fountain is just a I mean, it's just a treasure itself to be able to experience this. It's free. Um, there's trails all up through here. And then, of course, right behind it here, or beside it, is the, the rock formation, which will be um, where you'll be able to see a vision, maybe. Some people will, some people don't. But, um, yeah, it's... Just absolutely beautiful, really is. So glad the city put in a uh, this fountain here. I don't see any fish in there. I'm not sure if anybody throws coins in there. You know, a lot of times when you see fountains like this, people will throw coins. But there's a look at the rockwood work just beautiful they did a really nice job and so peaceful and I've heard stories about this area I've heard stories that it's um, that uh, there's like people that did ceremonies and stuff at the rocks here in this location this was way before the fountain was here but um, so the rocks you can definitely you can definitely feel an energy you definitely can and especially now with the fountain here so but I definitely just wanted to share this with you so let me show you this plaque here now these rocks this rock formation here well this is your uh, this is where a lot of the energy is and you can feel it and there's a lot of wildlife that gather over here and uh, that's usually a good sign too if you see a lot of wildlife and um, but I'm going to focus right here and I'm going to so what I want you to do is I want you to look at the rocks, okay? And 
and the spirits are going to give you a vision. They're going to try to give you a vision. So here's what I want you to do. Just pay attention to the rocks and ask the spirit around you to give you a vision. So spirits, if I have any spirits here, if you will, please give me a vision from these rocks. Give me a vision today. And this is May 12th, 2024. Give me a vision. If you will, give me a vision of something in the rocks, in the rock formation that I need to know, that I need to concentrate on. Is somebody talking to me? Is there someone from the past? that may be speaking to me. But if you look at the rocks and you just focus on the rocks, just like right in the center there, you will start getting a vision because this is where the spirit hotspot just shines. It's very beautiful. Very, very peaceful here. So now what I'm gonna do is I will I'll take a snapshot of this. And what I'll do, I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna study it, and I can see an image. I see it looks like somebody's looking at me from the rocks. And it's kind of a smile. But let me know what you see. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. So if you look at it very carefully, you'll also, you'll get an image. There'll be an image, it'll come to you. And all you have to do is just ask the uh, your spirit your angel, your guardian angel. What do they want you to see in these rocks? Because this is a very, very beautiful spot. Now, I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing some images here. Yeah. And kind of just focus in the center and once you do, you'll start seeing that image. Let me know, let me know in the comments what you see. This is really peaceful. And I'll come back to this video and we'll discuss it too. And I'll, sh I'll share what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this is interesting. So we'll, uh, we'll look at the, um, we'll look at this rock formation here in just a moment. But this is definitely if you're ever in this area, you definitely should try to come out here and just uh, be with this. So, and if you go to the left of the rocks up here, and just make sure you look, and make sure there's nothing crawling around. This right here will give you another vision. If you look at it just for a few minutes, the spirits here, they will give you, they'll give you another vision. Something that you need to be thinking about. It could be a letter. It could be someone's picture or face that you recognize. It could be an animal. It could be anything. Um, I'm seeing someone at the top up there, a picture that seems like they're like they're laying down somewhat. But study the study these rocks. 